Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and today we have another Disney day. So I was, I allowed myself to sleep in this morning, but my body didn't do it. I didn't set my alarm until nine thinking, oh, it would be nice to get to the park by um, like 10 my body woke me up still at like 7 a.m. So here we are, rope drop in Epcot. All right, it's currently just about eight o'clock almost. Um, we're gonna cut through here to the Skyliner. I don't wanna take advantage. It's starting to get to the point in my trip where if I think about it, I'll get sad. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh, it's over halfway over. Oh no, oh no. Honestly though, I feel like this trip has gone slowly while I'm in it, like I've been enjoying. So that's good, but I can't think about it too hard because I will get sad. Okay, it looks like there is a much larger crowd at the Skyliner station today, but that's okay, it should go quickly. Um, so we have about a half hour till Epcot early hours begin for um, resort guests. So, I plan to do um, some of the other rides like Spaceship Earth, maybe Soarin' again, Living with the Land, uh, Finding Nemo and Friends, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, there's a much longer line today. That's funny, I think I got here the same exact time the other day. Hmm. Oh well, look at this line, do you see that? So we're going to go find the end of the line. Right up here? It's my favorite one. Good. Oh, I love this park. So we're walking through UK right now. Um, it is early park entry. So, um, like most things in World Showcase, are not even open till 11. So we're walking to the front of the park. I need to get something to eat, I'm hungry. So I think at this point, the only thing open is the Starbucks. Um, but then I wanna ride some of the rides at the front of the park since we don't have Genie Plus today. But just trying to walk slowly, take it all in. That's what I wanna do today. Just kidding, Joffrey's is open, and I don't have that at home, so we're getting Joffrey's. All right, just a little something to get me started today. There's signature donuts and uh, vanilla chai latte. This is like the third one I've had, <laughs> but this is my perfect start to an Epcot day. Just overlooking the beautiful park. I just found a little bench. I'm like out front of the Canada Pavilion overlooking World Showcase. I'm so happy. So, I know this is silly. I was here at Park Open. That was unintentional. So this is just extra time I have. And this is how I enjoy the parks the most. I haven't done this a ton yet, but I wanna do it today. Just sit and take it all in. Because it's just so beautiful. Let me show you my view. So, like I said, Canada behind me here. We can just go all the way around the world. That's the America Pavilion straight ahead there. Friendship boat going by. It's just such a beautiful view with the music in the background. So I'm gonna sit here. I'd like to head to a ride before park opens so I at least can beat those people. That'll be my plan. Also, I didn't talk about my outfit of the day today. So I have these beautiful rainbow ears. I think they're actually from the Pride collection, but I wore them because uh, Festival of the Arts and it's all about rainbows and all the color. Uh, right now I have my black spirit jersey on um, because it's a little chillier in the morning, but underneath I have like a drinking around the world type shirt. <laughs> and then I just have tan shorts on and then I switched to the other shoes today hoping that that would help with everything. And then thank God I bought these because I don't know what I would have done without them. Like it is sunny. What was I thinking in Florida? But 
it's officially a park open. It's nine o'clock, so the normal crowds are gonna start pouring in here. So I know I should go to a ride, <laughs> but I'm just living for this. And to be honest, I kind of have, um, my next thing is Guardians in about two hours. So I just have, I have two hours to do all the rides I wanna do. Um, because after Guardians, then we'll do like World Showcase will be the plan for the afternoon onward. So I have some time just to kind of chill. So I'm gonna do that. Like I said, I was not even expecting, I didn't set my alarm till an hour from now. So my body just woke me up. So I'm gonna enjoy it and soak in this like music and oh, I just, Oh, also, I switched to this backpack today. My villain backpack. Uh, it matches the shirt that I'm wearing because it's like villain themed. But we'll see. I love the spirit jerseys. Even when it gets warm, I like want to keep it on because I feel cozy and I just, I love them. I don't wear them enough at home, so I want to start doing that more. But um, yeah, that's my plan. I will get up here probably when I finish my chai to actually go ride a ride, but I'm just enjoying it, enjoying it. This is the bench right here, like right by refreshment port. This is it. I literally just was crying. <laughs> it's the simple things, folks. <laughs> I feel like, for me at least, it's just like this. This is my favorite part. How many times can I say that? You're probably like, go do something fun that we can watch. Oh. Also, it's getting warm, so I know I need to take off my spirit jersey, but I don't want to, because I love it. So I'm not going to yet. All right, we are gonna move. We're gonna go on the move. Um, because there's a lot of things that I do wanna do today, so I don't wanna just sit and I was gonna say waste the whole day. It wouldn't have been a waste, but you know what I mean. So we are walking over to the land pavilion. Um, I wouldn't mind if the line is still at like 10 or 15 minutes. I would ride Soren again just cause we can and it's relaxing. So that's where I'm off to. I gotta stop showing my face though and just showing like what's around. Because this is what, when I watch Disney vlogs, that's the part that I love. Just like seeing everything. The beautiful flowers, the beautiful sound. So you'll have to let me know what you guys enjoy. Because this is not necessarily a Disney vlog account. But like I've said in a, um, a previous video, I am looking to do more Disney. Just more of all the things that I enjoy. And Disney is definitely a, a big part of the things that I enjoy. So, yeah, anyway, beautiful Epcot ball, Spaceship Earth, whatever you want to call her. I'd love a monorail to go past, <laughs> of course. But this is just such a pretty park. And I love, I'm so happy I could be here for the Festival of the Arts so I can see all of the cool art things. We'll definitely explore some of that today. Epcot still does have a ton, a ton of uh, construction walls around because they are building some uh, cool things for in here. I, I think that this is where the Moana Journey of Water walkthrough attraction will be. And I know they're building a a like festival pavilion. So they'll have a, a better space for different festival activities. So lots and lots of construction happening. It, the whole reef transformation of Epcot was announced and kind of began right before park shutdowns and world shutdown in 2020. And some of it is kind of on hold or not happening, but they are still working on some of it slowly but surely. Look at that shadow. We love the Mickey ears. I do really love that ride. Uh, and now it's a 45 minute wait. When I went on, it was like 15, now 45. So that the first like hour of park open really is the best time. But we are now going on living with the land just cause it's right here.
All right, spirit jersey off. I'm warm, <laughs> but uh, that was really good. That's definitely, in my opinion, an underrated ride. I really like it. You learn a lot. It's like calm. You learn, like I, every time I ride it, I forget what I learned. So I was like, oh, that's cool. But um, the line for all these rides, like Living with the Land, uh, and then Spaceship Earth, Nemo and Friends, typically are a walk-on. Except for this part in the day. This part in the day, they're going to be all around 15 to 30. So what I have to decide is, is it worth it since I'm right here, like Nemo's right next door, and then Spaceship Earth is right next door. Do we just ride them and wait a little longer? I think for me, yes. Just because it's convenient, it's right here, and then we don't have to cross the park later to come back over here at all. We'll just stay in World Showcase. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you feel that you have uh, more energy <laughs> where you wanna like walk the park back and forth, back and forth, be my guest. But today we're just gonna kinda go in a circle even if it means waiting a little longer. So, we're leaving the land. That's where uh, Soren and Living with the Land are in there. And now we're going to Nemo. Into the sea we go. Fish! You're good. And I'm thinking... Jellyfish! And the next one, jellyfish! All right, Mr. Sandman. Are you going to watch out? Okay, I was going to just wait it out, but this is ridiculous. So, Spaceship Earth will be a walk-on later, so I am not... It's only 25 minutes, but I mean... Yeah, I'm not doing that. So we'll have to come back later for that. Walking under Spaceship Earth. It, I just took some photos. It wouldn't take too long, but we're going to come back here, I'm sure, so... That's fine. Um, we're just gonna walk around this way. I have my individual lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy pretty soon here. Um, but in the meantime, we'll do some shopping up here. Um, uh oh. I love that. So I stayed strong for now. <laughs> I do want um, a, there's a Harry Potter launch fly I want as well. I can't get both. So the Harry Potter one I did find online, so I'll have to think about that today. I'm meeting up with a friend in a little bit, so maybe I'll ask her opinion too. But I just have a few more minutes till we have to go over here for Guardians. So I'm gonna do Club Cool. This is a spot you can try out some different like Coke products from around the world, and it's free. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> Usually there's a couple that I like. I don't know if they're different or if my taste buds changed. They were out of a couple. So maybe the ones that I liked, they were out of. I didn't really like any of them. Uh, they did have the cucumber Sprite from, I think, Russia. And that was okay. That was fine. I didn't hate that. But I'm excited. It's almost time for Guardians. So let's go take a look. I've never ridden this ride. I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous because... It makes some people motion sick, but we will see. I should be okay. I don't even know what to say. Oh my goodness. It was an extremely impressive ride. Like, unlike anything I've ridden before, um, I was like blown away a little bit just about like how different it was, I did get motion sick on it though. Like not actually sick, but like I'm feeling not 100% right now. My head does hurt. <laughs> so just to show you that side of it, because everyone is talking um, like that you have to ride it. I will ride it again. It's, it's incredible, but I don't feel great. <laughs> so I now need to like sit down and have a drink of water 
before we can do anything else. But I'm really happy I rode it. It was really, really good. Really good. So this is one of my favorite things about this festival. Uh, artists come and do like chalk art. So there's nothing here right now. I think this is one of the main spots they do it. So we'll have to come back and look. Um, but there's just art everywhere. That's what I, what I, what I love. Um, I think I took a few photos. I'm feeling okay. I haven't sat down and had water yet. I'm just kind of slowly walking to Canada for our lunch reservation. Um, yeah, so that's my current plan. Just stumbled across the amazing acrobat. Canada time. So I made a lunch reservation for Le Cellier specifically for cheddar cheese soup. So I am early and they don't even open yet. So I'm gonna come to the Canada Far and Wide show. But like, look at this, just tucked back here. Most people don't come back here. All right, had a nice little break in uh, Connections Cafe. And I'm gonna do Spaceship Earth. I think it's still a little bit of a longer wait, but then we're done at the front of the park. All right, I literally waited like six minutes. So this is perfect. It's also a continued break in here. It'll be nice. And then I think we're gonna meet up with someone. I'm excited to have a conversation for a little bit. I love, I love this festival. I love this pavilion. It's big crowds though today. I wanted a margarita, but I'm gonna have to wait for it. Margarita acquired. Hello everybody. Look Hi. at who I'm with. I'm Hi. with Crystal. So introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Crystal. I am a travel agent. Um, I am at Wish Upon a, a Pixie Dust on Instagram, and if you are thinking about coming to Disney World or Universal, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, get me up and I help you out. Yeah, yeah, but we've just kind of been chilling, eating around Epcot a little bit, and now we're saying goodbye. Yes. But I wanted to introduce Crystal to you all. Did I just wait in like a 20 minute line for an ice cream brioche bun? Yes, but I just hustled. And now we're here to the Disney on Broadway show. Just on time. Simply grunting won't suffice. Though if they heard this word, they might have used it once or twice. I'm sure Egyptian pharaohs would have grasped it in a jiff. Then every single pyramid would bear this That was fabulous. Um, she was so good. Ashley Brown, I think her name was. I need to look her up and follow her. She was like, unreal. One of the best female voices I've heard. So now, just gonna kind of wander the world showcase a little bit. Um, I'm currently in the Japan Pavilion. So I'm going to walk into Mitsukoshi and do some shopping. Hello. So shortly after that last clip, I ended up deciding to head out of the park. So um, I was beginning to flag a little bit, just kind of feel that I was 
getting to my end. I could have probably, I could have pushed through and been fine. The only other thing I wanted to do in Epcot um, was fireworks for Harmonious. Um, so I decided it was not worth it to wait around for three hours for fireworks when I was just kind of flagging. Um, so I ended up leaving the park and I stopped and got a Joffrey's peach iced tea to have in the room. Um, my plan tonight is to, I'm going to lay down for a little bit now, but then I want to pack tonight and like get stuff organized. Maybe not fully pack, but get a little organized so that tomorrow, hold on, Sorry, there are people being crazy, um, but I want to get organized. So I have to go through merchandise, figure out what I'm going to return, um, look at all of that. Maybe I'll even run the stuff that I'm going to return to my hotel gift shop. Uh, if I get a bite to eat at the hotel uh, cafeteria again, because I was like, maybe I'll stop and get something to eat. No, I, don't, I think I'll be okay. I'm not hungry right now. I ate a ton in Epcot today, so I don't think I'll need to. Um, oh, I've never been over here. Did I go the wrong way? I may not have gotten far enough, but that's okay. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So this may be like a jukebox. Let's see what is on the front here. I don't think I'm far from my room. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. It's like a record situation. Um, yeah, I just turned a little too early. I gotta go over one more. But yeah, that's my plan. I'm just going to chill for a little bit, then get productive, pack up. Um, because tomorrow, tomorrow I want to go out with a bang. Tomorrow's my last day. Oh, I can't believe it. That makes me so sad to think about that I had this whole beautiful trip planned and I spent all my money on it and now it's almost over. Oh, I can't think about it. It makes me so sad. Every time I leave, it's like such a, we it's such a weird feeling. It's like, was it even worth it? Cause I'm so sad when I have to leave. Of course it was worth it. Sorry, I'm just getting emotional now. But yes, tomorrow I wanna go out with a bang and have a really great day. So tomorrow's a Magic Kingdom day, mainly, but I may hop to Epcot. We'll see how I'm feeling. There's like one or two other foods I would try um, from the festival. I would see the Broadway concert series because I'm loving those. Um, so I, I'm thinking Magic Kingdom morning to like bang out rides and do all of that, take a break midday, and then hop to Epcot in the evening. That's kind of my plan. I did want to see Magic Kingdom though at night one more time. So that's the only other thing that I don't know how that fits into my schedule. All right, I'm back in my room. I'm gonna put the beautiful resort TV situation on. Honestly, I paid a ton of money to stay on property, be in Disney's bubble. So I'm gonna enjoy the hotel room for the next few hours. Um, just kind of chilling getting some bits and bobs in order so that tomorrow can just be about enjoying my last park day because the day after tomorrow, we wake up early to go to the airport. But we're not thinking about that right now. Nope, 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 nope. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you here because um, the rest of tonight will be pretty boring and chill. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.